Hey guys, it's Meredith from Jeanette's Pier, and today I'm going to show you how a wind turbine works. Before we get into the wind turbine itself, I want to make sure everyone understands what electricity is and how it's generated. There's two main types of resources that make electricity, renewables and non-renewables. Renewable resources are the ones like water, wind, and sunlight that you can use over and over again without using them up. Non-renewable resources, on the other hand, like coal, oil, and natural gas, cannot be used multiple times because you have to burn them in order to make electricity. The burning process not only depletes the resource, but it also produces some pollution in the process. So here I have a very basic wind turbine model. I have three blades attached to a hub which is connected to my generator. If you don't know what a generator is, it's basically just this device that can take one form of energy and turn it into electricity. So a backup generator at your house might take natural gas and turn it into electricity while my turbine's generator is making electricity from the wind. It's also useful to know what exactly electricity is, and all it is is the one directional flow of a charged particle, like electrons, down a wire. If you don't remember from science class, electrons are just those teeny tiny negatively charged particles in atoms. So my generator that I have here is essentially two giant magnets surrounded by copper wire, which is a material that allows electrons to flow. I'm sure you guys have played with magnets before, and you know that there's a charge or a force associated with them. When this magnet spins, that same type of force is generated, which then pushes the electrons down my wire, and we have electricity. There are many different methods that we can use to get this magnet to spin, and of course the wind is one of them. Burning coal is another method that we use a lot in the United States. When we use coal to make electricity, first we have to dig it up, transport it to a power plant, and then we set it on fire. All the heat that ends up coming off of that burning coal can boil water, which produces steam. That steam will then travel really quickly, causing a turbine to spin. This is when my magnet starts spinning, generating that force that's needed to push electrons down my wire. Using coal to make electricity is really reliable. The downside is that it's not renewable and it releases carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, which is a leading cause of climate change. Wind energy is a great way to generate electricity that is renewable and has less of a negative impact on the climate. Instead of making steam to spin my turbine, the wind can do that for us. These blades are the part that catch the wind. They're usually designed to be very aerodynamic so they can rotate through the air nice and smooth, but they're not too small because they have to have that surface area in order to catch the wind. So my wind starts coming through and my blades are pushed to rotate. This now causes the attached magnet in my generator to spin and get that electricity flowing down my wire. So if wind energy is a great alternative, you might be wondering why we still use a lot of coal and other non-renewables instead. The main reason is because the infrastructure for non-renewables is already in place. In order for us to switch to wind energy, we would have to install a lot more wind turbines which would be costly at first. In the long run, however, they could pay themselves off. There's still a lot more research that needs to be done before renewable energy can be as efficient and reliable as non-renewables, but with quickly advancing technology, I think we can get there. Hopefully this helps everyone understand wind energy better and encourages a shift toward it in the near future. Thanks for watching.